the district has been in existence for over 70 years and they continue to grow because of the forward thinking of the directors, the CEO. Uh, they're continuing to expand. It's Let's always stay. been like the social gathering place. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it started that <clears throat> way, you know, if that was actually their mission when it first started, but it sure turned out to be that way. And I remember as we're standing there, Rex Phoebus came up pushing a broom, and I just thought he was a janitor, but it turns out he was the Memorial District in its first 40 years of existence. Just for years, knowing and feeling proud about the fact that you know, we had a community that wanted to honor and support their veterans. It's centered around building and maintaining memorials to veterans, but that goes far beyond statues. It goes to what we are as a community center, what we do is in terms of outreach to the community and taking care of our veterans and just making sure that they are not forgotten. It not only honors the veterans, but it's an opportunity for the community to celebrate other things that make a city great. You are much, much more than a, just a memorial district to our veterans. Uh, you are integral to this community. It actually evolved quite, you know, quite to benefit the uh, veterans. We all are working together and our efforts are showing that we're uh, conducting fantastic events to benefit not only the veterans, but the community as a whole. Everybody from the community still uses the facility for so many things. People can feel that sense of community, sense of pride, um, honoring our veterans and, and supporting the community. There are so many personal connections to people who've grown up in this community and you can't come to this building and see the names on the wall or see the statues without remembering things about the community, about the veterans. Lorenzo and the district really have made a lot of effort to uh, bring community together, to be a place for the community to come and get involved and um, they do this by uh, providing such a beautiful building and a place that, that is very inclusive and inviting. Most communities don't have uh, what we have here in Clovis. There's resources that certainly come in but they pour it back out into the community, into you know, facilities for wonderful events, uh, the different programs that are put on here, uh, the events that honor our veterans, of course. Really making an effort to ensure that they have state-of-the-art equipment, beautiful facilities, clean um, and friendly. It's just an incredible place for people to come and gather. Growing into a larger and more diverse spaces, um, I know that there's um, a lot of opportunity for that and I see the, the team here taking it there. It's just, we're just really grateful, you know, it's a, a wonderful place to uh, live and be a part of the community and we're just very lucky. We know we're, we're fortunate to have this. this. I really believe the Clovis Veterans Memorial District is a crown jewel in our communities.